All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to take a quick look as to how we can actually install Google applications into your brand new Huawei phone. Bear in mind that this video is only meant for Malaysian viewers, Malaysian Huawei users. So without further ado, let's just jump into the walkthrough right away. All right, guys, so let's take a very quick look at how you actually want to install those applications into your Huawei device. Now, for that, first and foremost, you need to know that the app, the gallery, is the main place where you're going to look for all your favorite apps. So you can find stuff, for example, like your WhatsApp. So instantly, you can see that we already have WhatsApp in here. Let's install that right away. Notice that as soon as you press install on the application, it will ask you to install your MicroG service as well as your MicroG companion. Now, that is actually going to help you to install all your other future applications. So it's actually running in the background right now. And while we do that, you can see that the WhatsApp is already being installed. Now, furthermore, if I just go and look for my other favorite apps such as Instagram, so this is also something that you know we always do. Again, just click install and it will start installing very quickly. So moving on, we're going to try and find a couple more Google applications such as your Chrome. Now, this is also something that I use quite a lot. So we're going to Chrome. I'm going to look for my Gmail. I'm going to look for YouTube, for instance, you know, Google Maps, and you will also get that done. So check that out, it's actually installing everything very quickly and while I was just talking earlier on, you can see that the applications are already being installed. Alright, now moving on, the next step that you want to do is actually to log into your Google account and that will actually help you to synchronize across all the Google apps. So say for example, I can go into Gmail right there and notice that I already can activate the app. I can actually put in my own email address. So naturally, I'm going to put in my Google address and this micro G services notification will pop up. So what you need to do is you go and click sign in over there. Let me just put in my email. So there, once the password is done, uh, you've crossed that step, it'll take about a second to you know go through some settings and right away, you can actually go into your Gmail. Now, I'm not going to show you the contents of that, but yeah, once I've logged into Gmail, notice that my Google Maps will actually be already logged in. Check out the account on the top right corner. It's already logged in. Pretty simple. And of course, if you go into your Chrome, all your Google applications will automatically be logged in. So it's very, very convenient and you only need to do it once. All right, now moving on, say for example, if you're trying to look for an application, but you can't actually find it in the app gallery. Now here's what you need to do. You actually need to look for this Gbox application and you actually need to click install on that. So once you actually enter Gbox, notice that we actually have an actual Play Store in here. And if you actually click into that, you can also sign in once again into your app store. So let's put in my own Google account once more. And there you go. Again, it's going to take you through a very brief process. So Gbox is logging in right now and you will have something very similar to what you actually get on typical other Android phones. So this is basically, you know, the full flash app store. You can find all your favorite apps in here. Say for example, Disney Plus, I can install that. All right guys, so once you've got all your applications installed, your phone will look something like this, where, you know, all your favorite apps are now installed on a Huawei device. They're all logged into their Google account. So you don't have to worry about not being able to use your favorite apps on a Huawei phone. It's also worth mentioning that most of the apps can be updated directly from the app gallery, which makes it very convenient. So it's actually very simple and seamless. You know, some of you might be concerned about the safety features, but you know, Huawei has actually put in a lot of effort into making sure the apps are safe to be downloaded. The Gbox themselves are committed to protecting the privacy of apps, and MicroG itself is an open source system that has been around for more than 10 years. Anyway, uh, I'll put in more links to those down below as well. Again, this is meant for users in Malaysia only, and should you actually come into any issues, you can actually leave a comment down below. I'll try to help you out, or maybe you can reach out to Huawei directly at their hotline, also listed down below. Now with that said, hopefully today's video has helped you out in a way or another. Thank you for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.